thoughts on the match and then we'll open it up for questions. Yeah, I mean, I thought uh, we were very good. I thought we started off the the game in a very good fashion. I thought we had some very good sequences. Um, and I am very proud of the group for closing out the match and walking away with three points away from home. Um, I think we've shown a lot. I know early on uh, we were known to give up some late opportunities, and I think we've shown a lot in our growth, and um, we competed until the final whistle blew. Um, and I'm just very proud of the group to walk away for, with three points. Becky, go ahead. Hey, Beth, congratulations on the win. Thank you, Becky. How important is it to go into this international break in playoff position now to have brought yourself back up to eighth place? Yeah, no, I think it's incredibly important. And obviously, you know, there's still um, a, a lot of areas that we'd like to continue to push and improve on. Um, but it's definitely very important for us um, to get the W, but also get it in the fashion that we did today. Um, so again, just very proud of the group. And I think it helps with momentum rolling forward into this international break and preparing for our next match against Houston. And then, as you said, um, in past games, racing has had a dominant first half, had a less dominant second half and dropped points as a result. In this match, racing had a very dominant first half and managed to hold on in the second half. But Chicago was able to play themselves into the match much more in the second half. Mm -hmm. Why was racing able to hold on in this game? How have they evolved to that point? And how did the subs impact the game? Yeah, I mean, I thought the subs came in and did a fantastic job. I thought the mentality of the group to close out the match did a fantastic job. I think you just saw the the energy. I thought you saw the ideas of once we, uh, you know, proceeded to get late into the game, could we keep it in the corners? Obviously, defensively, could we get back, add numbers to ensure that we could compete for first and second balls? Um, so for me, uh, obviously, Katie Lund had some incredible saves as well on top of everybody's work ethic to get back and affect first and second balls as much as possible. Um, I definitely believe closing out this game gave us a good boost um, in several areas. So, yeah, again, just very proud of the group. Michael, go ahead. Uh, for large portions of this match, it looked like racing uh, did exactly what they wanted to do. Uh, how close do you think the team was to, to executing kind of the game plan as you visualized it? Yeah, it's a fantastic question. I mean, I think this one was a big one for our identity and being the best version of ourselves um, on the match. So for me, uh, obviously, the way that we started um, – the momentum that we had specifically first half and continuing to progress forward, continuing to create opportunities. Obviously, Emma scores um, a heck of a goal, uh, but the fashion that we did it in um, and then continued to push through and show our mentality in the second half for me, um, they, they of course, uh, did their best attempt in regards to executing the game plan. But for us, this game plan was our identity um, and being the best versions of ourselves on the day because we thought our identity fit the match. Paul, go ahead. Yeah, Beth, uh, Katie described uh, Emma's goal as being pretty sick. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that goal. And and if you could speak to the confidence that this rookie has just, um, you know, eight, nine games into the season. Yeah, I mean, it's a hell of a goal, isn't it? Um, it's it's a fantastic finish. And I think she's just continuing to showcase um, so many attributes of her game. And she's continuing to grow confidence in the opportunities that have presented herself. And she's just running with the opportunities. So for me, um, it's been a joy to continue to see her progression every week, to continue to see her attitude, continue to see her work hard um, and create as much as she has. Um, and again, of course, our jobs is to continue to push her uh, to continue to develop in our environment, but very proud of her. Um, and I thought the goal was a, f a hell of a goal. Michael, go ahead again. Uh, I think we're so used to seeing uh, Savannah DeMello, uh, you know, get an assist or score. But I mean, I really thought she played excellently in this match. So just kind of want to hear your thoughts about how she kind of controlled the match and controlled the midfield. Yeah, and I think just the relationship of um, the midfield in general and their movement off of each other tonight was um, was very good. Um, and I think Sav, Sav's just unique, isn't she? I, I talk about it uh, so often. Um, uh, her ability to dribble uh, at the pace that she does and the ability she has in those moments to eliminate players, to continue to put her body. She continues to fight for that positioning as she's on the dribble, as she's assessing where her next uh, spaces or where her next passes. Uh, she's assessing it all as she's continuing to gain uh, a yards on the pitch. And for me, she's just one of the the best uh, dribblers in the league. And I fully believe that. Last one from Becky. 
racing has started the season with an incredibly tough schedule with the majority of the games against teams in playoff position. How has the team kept their mentality going through these 10 games while also still learning a new style while still building this mentality? And how do you think that's going to carry them? This win in particular is going to carry them through to the next 10 games. Yeah. I mean, what better opportunity to test where we're at, um, to test what we believe we're capable of and to continue to progress, uh, progress through this process by assessing it with the teams that we've continued to play. Right. Um, And so for us, I think it's put us in a very good position to understand where we're at, what we believe we can accomplish this season. And I think obviously getting these three points and putting us in the, uh, you know, in eighth at the moment to be in that position for this international break really uh, gives us a boost from a momentum standpoint, carrying into obviously what we will do in order to prepare against Houston next match. All right. Thank you, Bev. Thank you guys.